And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Kapoor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex, and today we're going to check out the RPS Bit Reactor. Yes, uh, big thank you to Ryan at RPS Effects for sending this out to us. Um, yeah, it's like a bit crusher sample reducer riser. Yeah, yeah. noise box of doom. Yes. Stuff, I don't know. Well, you'll find out soon. Uh, please hit like and subscribe on the video, ding the notification bell, and uh, comments, questions below. That'd be fantastic. Yes, please. Please, please do. Mm. Um, cool. So the bit reactor. Um, I I like bit crushers, sample reducing kind of stuff. I like that sort of stuff. Yeah. I, I, I enjoy it, which is actually one of the reasons why I contacted um, RPS Effects. And they so graciously send us this one and another one. There'll be another video for another pedal coming up as well. Mm. So it's super simple in controls. You've got three controls, level, crush, and sample. Now crush, so, and it also is, it's not a digital, it's an all analog um, bit crusher sample rate reducer. There's yeah. nothing digital in there, it's all analog. Uh, and then you've got the on-off switch. And the other really cool thing is, possibly the coolest thing of all, is the that, and as you turn it, the lights, well, you hear clicking, but also the lights go away. And what that is, so you've got level is volume, and this is the bit, the bits, right? So all the way up, we're at eight bits, yep. seven bits, six bits, and so on and so on, all the way down to one bit, one single bit. Uh, so at, we'll start off all the way up, and then we've got the sample rate, which all the way clockwise, like now, it's the highest sample rate, all the way down, it's the lowest sample rate. Now, what is the difference between bit rate and sample rate, you may ask? May you? Uh, what's the difference? Whatever, whatever you said. What's the difference between cheese and sample rates? Cheese and sample rate. Yeah. No. Uh, okay. So bit rate and sample rate. So uh, you've got to think of it that way. Sample rate is um, how many samples per second. Yes. Um, so if you, if you know us talking right when we're recording it, how many bits is that? Is that sixty four? Thirty two? Twenty four bit. 24 bit. Yeah. We're recording a 24 bit. So for each second, there's 24 little bits of information. It's like with cameras, a frame rate, like how many with videos, yeah. how many frames per second are being recorded. The bit rate is how much information each of these samples has, basically, right? right. Um, and whether, you know, the waves have lots of little bits, you know, so it's a smooth wave or many square bits. Mm. I hope that sort of makes sense. And, Roughly, and that's what it is. And those square jumps translate into distortion and other artifacts. Yeah, exactly right. Thing. And, and uh, yeah, uh, sort of harmonic things as well that happen, which yeah. then turn it into almost like a um, ring modulator kind of thing, where you have mm. weird uh, harmonics being emphasized that you wouldn't usually hear or, you know, mm. sort of, yeah. Anyway, so let's, uh, do you want to start or do you want me to start? Um, yeah, I'll play. You start? Yeah, because I'm loving this. Oh, the setup today, we've got a Monstronics amp switcher into a, Cherry Tone OCTS Mini 20. Racing Stripe. And two notes to Peter Capdex doing the IRs. Guillaume and uh, Jason. Hello. Oh, and it's there. That's cool. I like I like the little gay thing. So this is at the highest sample rate, highest bit rate that you can do with this, right? We're gonna. What, what would you like to? Um, would you like for me to reduce the sample rate or the bit rate first? Mm. What would you like to go for first? Bit rate. Bit rate. Okay. With the cool lights. Okay. So that yeah. starts. So we're at eight bits at the moment. It's cool. So it turns into this kind of massive fuzz. Yeah. Uh, there's some clean signal in there too. And I'm playing super light too, so all that aggression is coming from the pedal. Because it's massively compressed, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Uh, now, let's go all the way up. And I like the clicky sound, so you can hear when it goes between different... Sample settings, yeah. The, the yeah, bit rates. Let's do the same thing, the full, full bit rate. Let's reduce the sample rate, just to hear the difference, right, between the two. Uh, 
Um, so it turns into this kind of... Uh, you can barely kind of te- really tell what you're playing because it's just there's so little information there yeah. that it doesn't quite know what it is. Mm. Which is then also where you kind of get a glitchiness because sometimes it goes to a bit and sometimes it doesn't and yeah. that's sort of, you get the kind of glitchy um, harmonic stuff or mm. sub, what would you call it? Like a... Overtones. Ah, That's sure. what I was looking for. Overtones. You get these kind of harmonic overtones. Yeah, cool. And it kind of glitches between them. Uh, okay, now let's turn both down. To me, that's always the kind of... I love that sort of sound. It's that, the old Nintendo, like, when you get yeah. to the... No, the princess is another cl- castle. Oh, no. <laughs> Stupid princess. You know what I mean, though. And, and then that. <laughs> ah, they all kind of sound funny, but I love that sort of stuff. To me, that's just. And this. Um, I should. Maybe I'll insert a clip into this. Um, this kind of stuff sounds killer on things like synths and drum machines. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Um, Cool. Or the other thing you can do now, uh, you can also, uh, and we have one of the El Cheapo brand here, mm. you can use uh, um, uh, an expression pedal to control the sample rate. Uh, or you can also actually uh, run CV into it. So basically, if you if you have like a modular kind of system, you can uh, run CV information into there, which will, um, so you mean you can kind of mm. set stuff control. and can hand, do it hands-free. You get the point. Um, I think it's cool. I really like it. This kind of stuff I really love playing with, but I never quite know how to use it in context of... Well, one, one of the things I think with this, one way you can use it, let's, let's try this out quickly, is this mm. Dirty Channel Now of Your Amp. Because there's clean signal there. Yes. Uh, so what we can do now is let's let's add a little bit to it. So let's just start... It, so going into Dirty Amp now, uh, same thing. Full sample rate, full crush.
That's why the sample rate wasn't working because it's still plugged in. So once when you plug it in, that doesn't work anymore. Yeah, uh, it takes it's over. taken over. So that's why it didn't quite work. But I mean, it sounds really cool into a driven amp. That does. Or if you use it together with a fuzz, you could turn it instantly into like a like a weird gated octavey yeah. kind of thing. Um, but it's cool. I, I think. Uh, a no, lot of times, now. a get lot of times now. with with bit crushers, there's clean signal that bleeds sure. through. But if you run it into a dirty amp, that's how you. To me, that's how I would use it. I get it now. Cool. But that Thanks. that also then makes it work really well with. Um, so actually, we should do it on bass too one time. Yeah. We should do it on bass. But that's one of the reasons why it works really well on drum machines and synths because mm. it retains some of the clean signal. So you have some of the normal signal, yep. but then you have that extra artifact on top of it because yeah, it's cool. just. It, I just think that's just... I think it's really, really cool. Yeah, it's neat. Eh? I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah. It's a great sounding bit crusher. There's, uh, I have a couple of different bit crushers. Maybe we should do a bit crusher shootout sure. at some stage with this as well. Uh, one of the other ones is digital, mm -hmm. which I mean, it doesn't necessarily matter whether things are analog or digital, but there's something about this that I think it sounds really, really cool. I really like it. There'll be more videos with this. I reckon we'll do some videos with. Um, Bass, bass and fun. maybe with with uh, synths and yeah. a drum machine and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. If you want, or if you anything in particular want to see, if you want to see an acoustic guitar, let us know. Uh, links below, or oh, not links, comments below. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think? Yeah. Let us know. Um, please check out the links below to Instagram, Facebook, and podcast. Do that all fairly regularly. Yes, please. And, well, um, thanks for hanging. We'll, um, yeah. Big thank you once again to Ryan and everyone at RPS Effects. Uh, Killer Effect. There's another um, pedal. Yes. Coming up. And we'll there'll be come. more videos with that coming up too. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for hanging. See you soon.